This podcast is sponsored by Renewal by Anderson of Central Pennsylvania. Buy one door a window and get another door a window at 40% off plus $200 off your project. That's at no money down, no payments, and no interest for one year. Call 717-727-7558 or visit rbacentralpa.com slash deals to get on this deal before it ends October 31st. The state AG's office has reached a settlement with Rutters over a data breach. Meanwhile, judges are considering the constitutionality of Pittsburgh's tax on athletes. There's apparently about 800,000 tons of oil and gas waste missing. Finally, this is one of the most haunted hotspots in the world. I'm Claudia DeMiro, and you're listening to Today in a PA. For a nine-month period between 2018 and 2019, a data breach compromised the credit and debit card information of at least 1.3 million Rudders customers, reports the York Daily Record. The state attorney general's office eventually filed a complaint over the breach and, after completing its own investigation, found that Rudders rather weak security measures failed to protect sensitive customer information, thus violating Pennsylvania's unfair trade practices and consumer protection law. Rudders has just agreed to settle with a $1 million penalty. The company also agreed to conduct and document a risk assessment, undergo an independent compliance assessment, and to strengthen those security measures. Pittsburgh has this tax that charges athletes and entertainers working, playing, or performing at any of its publicly funded facilities, like PPG Paints Arena or PNC Park, a 3% fee, reports the Tribune Review. The money from this tax, called the Sports Facility Usage Fee, goes towards these facilities' operations and pays down bond debt. But where the funds go aside, the tax's constitutionality is currently being considered in a seven-judge panel of Pennsylvania's Commonwealth Court. Filed in 2019 by the Players Association of the NHL, NFL, and MLB, the lawsuit has moved on to Commonwealth Court after the tax was ruled unconstitutional last year by Allegheny County Common Pleas Court Judge Christine Ward. According to Ward, all taxes should be uniform. A tax that distinguishes between resident and non-resident athletes breaks uniformity and creates a disparate treatment of various tax classes. City officials, on the other hand, say no such distinction has been made. While non-resident athletes pay a 3% income tax, for example, resident athletes pay a combined equal amount in income and school district taxes. This court case remains ongoing. Researchers at the University of Pittsburgh and Duquesne started an investigation on whether sediment in rivers and streams near landfills that accepted higher volumes of oil and gas waste had higher levels of radioactivity, states NorthCentralPA.com. What they found was quote-unquote significant gaps in how much oil and gas waste was reported by operators to have been sent to landfills versus what the landfills reported they received, accounting for about 800,000 tons of oil and gas waste recorded missing. A spokesperson for the State Department of Environmental Protection confirmed the agency was looking into this revelation in light of this information, but has yet to send out any updates. With all the ancient spots dotting the globe, getting called one of the world's most haunted hotspots is quite an achievement, starts PenLive. Which is why the fact this one attraction in Pennsylvania was ranked as the world's second most haunted hotspot is most impressive. According to Planet Cruise, who looked at their own proprietary data as well as TripAdvisor reviews, Eastern State Penitentiary in Philadelphia is one of the most supernatural places on this good green earth. There were over 530 mentions of it being haunted in reviews, with another 236 claiming it was spooky, and another 338 saying it was scary. In first was Mary King's Close in Scotland. A close being a street, by the way. I had to look that one up. That wraps up today's episode. For even more news, mosey on over to penlive.com. Also, please remember to rate this podcast to review may listen to it and to share it around with your family and friends. Thanks ahead of time. And as always, thanks for listening. I'm Claudia DeMiro, and I'll see you for Friday's episode of Today in PA. This podcast is sponsored by Renewal by Anderson of Central Pennsylvania. Buy one door a window and get another door a window at 40% off plus $200 off your project. That's at no money down, no payments, and no interest for one year. 
Call 717-727-7558 or visit rbacentralpa.com slash deals to get on this deal before it ends October 31st.